from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, September the 14th, 2022. A senior IDF officer was killed overnight last night in the West Bank. According to an initial investigation, two Palestinians were identified near the security barrier between Israel and the West Bank overnight, and an IDF force from an elite unit, the Nahal Reconnaissance Unit, was sent to the scene. The terrorists opened fire at the Israeli troops at close range, and the unit's deputy commander, 30-year-old Major Bar Falah, was hit, though he continued to fight, firing back at the terrorists along with his fellow soldiers before he collapsed and died from his wounds. The terrorists were killed. Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid mourned Falah. He wrote Bar was a dedicated soldier who fought terror and led his troops until his last hour. The operation in which he was killed thwarted a major terrorist attack and saved lives. We feel the pain of his loss together with you. May Bar's memory be a blessing. Lapid later reported that one of the terrorists killed was a member of the Palestinian Authority's intelligence forces. This, he wrote, escalates things to another level. Lapid said we will not hesitate to act in any place that the Palestinian Authority does not maintain order. IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kochavi said of Falah's death, we saw a commander who led the way, showed courage and bravery, and paid for it with his life in the mission of protecting the security of the country and its residents. Major Bar Falah was laid to rest this evening in his hometown of Netanya's military cemetery. The Times of Israel reports that the Foreign Minister of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Abdullah ben Zayed al Nahyan, landed in Israel tonight for an official visit marking two years since the signing of the Abraham Accords. The Times reporting that ben Zayed will meet with Prime Minister Lapid tomorrow afternoon, and we will have more for you on that on tomorrow's news update. A special Aliyah flight carrying 209 Olim new immigrants from Ethiopia, accompanied by Jewish leaders from Jewish federations across North America and the Jewish Agency, touched down at Ben Gurion Airport this evening. Part of Operation Sur Yisrael, the Rock of Israel, carried out by Israel's Ministry of Aliyah and Absorption, the Jewish Agency, and with support of Jewish federations whose president and CEO Eric Fingerhut, who accompanied the mission, said the true heroes of the Ethiopian Aliyah are the Olim themselves, who have waited so long for this moment, yet never lost Hatikva, the hope that they would one day reach the land of Israel. Many of those Olim have been waiting and dreaming of this day for decades. They were met by Israel's Minister of Aliyah and Absorption, Panina Tamano Shata, who arrived in Israel on a similar rescue flight when she was just a small child. And the emotion and joy of the momentous and long-awaited homecoming was evident. <laughs> The Olim then took part in an official welcoming ceremony led by Finger Hut, Jewish Agency Chair Doron Almog, and Minister Tamano Shata, who deeply thanked the American Jewish community for its tremendous efforts in this mission and in previous ones since the 1980s. Stressing that we are one people, she said, Am Yisrael Chai, the people, the nation of Israel lives. I have a big hope that now it is the time that the sky is open and that this pain that I see every day, mothers and fathers that crying here in Israel and children that crying there in Ethiopia will be stopped. And we will do the mission together as Am Israel not lonely as a community because we are not a different tribe. As I see that, 
Today, in this day, we are one tribe. Am Israel Chai. Well, JBS's very own Rabbi Mark S. Golub was honored last night with a media award by Voices for Truth and Humanity in Woodbury, New York. Recognizing his work as president and creator of JBS and the work of the channel, including for educating about the Holocaust, about the dangers of BDS, the boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign that seeks to delegitimize the state of Israel, about the fight against anti-Semitism and educating about the Jewish state and the Jewish people. New York Board of Rabbis Executive Vice President Rabbi Joe Potasnik, who appears on Faith to Faith on JBS, presented the award to Mark and had this to say about him. It's very fitting that he's here tonight for Voices for Truth and Humanity because he's been a voice. The word for community in Hebrew, kihila, has the word kol, voice in it. You're not going to be an effective community unless you have a voice. He's allowed all of us to be that voice with someone like Mark Golub, who stands up with that voice to make sure that in this life there is dignity for our people. It's a great honor to present you, Mark, with the Media Award. Mark accepted the award and spoke about the JBS channel. If you care about the state of Israel, if you care about the issues of anti-Semitism, if you care about the future of the Jewish people in the United States, and if you just enjoy being Jewish, JBS is a channel. Once you turn on, you may never turn, turn off. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, September the 14th at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud study. At 7.30, a look at the Munich Olympics tragedy of 1972. At 8, an all-encompassing survey of Jewish history by President of the Center for Jewish History, David Myers. At 9, Part 2 of Mark Golub's interview with Rabbi Joshua Hammerman. At 10, Leah Koenig performs at New York City's Culture Fest. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, September the 14th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.